Today on the channel from AXY Toys, we've got the Tyrannosaurus Rex Battlefield Warrior Deluxe Edition. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another action figure unboxing and review and today on the channel we got something entirely different we got something a little extra special here today as we do got from axy toys the red deluxe battlefield edition tyrannosaurus rex boy that's a mouthful here and this is a big big heavy boy and i gotta thank the team at axy toys for sending me this to review they reached out and said are you interested in checking this out uh, to do a review on and I said sure I will check that out you guys know I love action figures and I love all kinds of action figures and this is the perfect action figure to mix in with any of your different toy lines your mythic legions your McFarlane uh, Marvel Legends whatever you want to do use your own imagination choose your own adventure and of course this is up for sale and pre-order right now Big Bad Toy Store we know all about Big Bad Toy Store head over there pick this guy up very, very cool looking figure from what I've seen so far, but there's only one way to tell from there. It is to get it out of the package and check it out. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's check out this Battlefield Dinosaur. Big, heavy packaging here. Big, heavy dinosaur. Big, screaming, ugly, mean, menacing dinosaur is what this one is here. And you guys have seen on the channel, we've dabbled in a few dinosaurs. But this almost has a Mythic Legion type vibe to it. It's a, a battlefield warrior of a dinosaur. And there's a couple different versions of this one. This is the red version. But check out Big Bad Toy Store. Use the old link in the description below. Check it out. Look at this one here. But big, heavy box on this one. Big window box. Got cellophane, all that kind of stuff here. Uh, all very well protected. You got a little slip cover over the bottom of this one here as well. We'll slip that off in a second. But it is a little slip cover. Got a few things going on there. Can I get the slip cover off? That's always part of the fun here. But you got to slide this off, of course, to get going. And there's a little glamour shot down here at the bottom, as you can see. And then uh, tip. All the joints on the arm and thigh should be heated before insertion or removal to avoid damage caused by an unheated insertion and removal. So this is one of those figures, high-end figure. you got to hit it up and warm it up a little bit with a hair dryer or else you're going to be in some big trouble. You're going to have a bad day at the office probably breaking some stuff. So we're going to make note of that. But we're going to put this off to the side. Good old see you later. 18 plus it says down there at the bottom. So take note of that as well. Big window box packaging. Little dinosaur action on the side there. AXY Toys. Same thing on that side in purple. And then on the back, all kinds of stuff going on in the back. Looks like we've got quite the hefty blur back there. we got a couple of glamour shots as well. We're going to see what's going on inside of this thing. On the back, it says Dinosaur Battlefield. The Carnivorous King T-Rex Blood Blade. And it does say AXY Toys. Uh, AY Toys as well back here. Warning, recommended for kids 18 and up. Made in China. Some components are of limited movability, which could be damaged if inappropriately twisted and bent with excessive force. Contrived damage will not be considered as a product defect, and hence replacement will not be provided. You don't see that on the back of a package very often. Please keep this product away from any place with high temperature or under the sun to avoid deformation. That's an interesting one, so don't store it in sunlight, I guess. Do not wipe the product with... Oh boy, thinner benzenal collectactic. Oh boy, that's a big one. Which could damage the surface of the product or cause paint fading. So very interesting right there. So a lot of rules. It almost feels like a gremlin. Just don't feed him after midnight at the end of the day. But I'm going to take this offline. I think there's going to be a lot to get into paling this out of the package. You're going to have to heat some stuff up too before we dive in. I'm going to do all that and we're going to be back talking all things a Battlefield Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> All right, 
we're back. We got the old big old dinosaur out of the package here, and I am overwhelmed and overwhelmed in a good way as you get a lot of stuff with this guy, a lot more when I, than I was expecting. It's kind of like when you're building a big Lego set and you got your kids, oh, they're going to build this thing, and you dump everything out, and you're like, wow, this is a lot more work than I was anticipating. And that's what this one is. There is so many different weapons, so many pieces, so many guard things, capes, you name it, all cape season, not just for humans anymore. Dinosaurs sign me up all day long. So we're going to go through all these accessories real quick. We'll go through the figure a little bit here. And then I'm going to take this offline again. I'm going to put this guy all together. Might take me a couple hours, but we're going to put this guy together. And then we'll talk about it from there. We'll do some comparisons later on in this video as well. So let's start it off. I guess we'll start with the hands. That's what we'll do. So we do got two big gripping hands on this big bad boy right out of the package here. And then we get two nice gripping hands here. So we got the two big open hands, two gripping hands. Choose your own hand adventure, even in the dinosaur uh, variety right there. We do get a big old tail. Of course, it is a dinosaur. Nice tail. Of course, all these hands and tails match the figure as they should. So you do plug that in the back like we've seen with other toy lines in the past. So we do have that. We do got a big old weapon here, a big old club. Looking something like out of Mythic Legions. That's why I always kind of think of these figures. Pairing them with Mythic Legions, Dungeons and Dragons, that kind of stuff. A little bit of fantasy elements is what you can do. But beautiful coloring on this. Looks like an ancient weapon. Got some kind of uh, patina to it and stuff like that. But definitely a big old hulking club for a big bruiser like this. Got a big old knife dagger. Just something very medieval looking. I love the red tips here. It shows some blood. He's not afraid to use this thing. So we do have this. Looking beautiful on the handles. Everything else. So very nice there. And then a big double bladed thing. I mean these are just big crazy weapons for these dinosaurs. Looking very very nice. Very cool. Once again, you get the red on the hand on the edge of the blades. These have been used in combat. Watch out, stay away, all that kind of fun stuff. Then we do get two big old shoulder gauntlets here, and it looks kind of like a triceratops almost. You got the horn at the top there. Very sharp, so that's why it's probably not for uh, kids, of course. And you got even the rings hanging off of here. Very nice. Once again, you got kind of that patina look, that rust gold color patina. Looking nice. Of course, two big shoulder gauntlets for him as well. Now you do get a little helmet action here. Uh, you got to put this helmet together, but it does give him a little bit more of a warrior spirit. He's ready to go. He's put his helmet on there. And you do get some uh, different spikes and things like that. They do just plug in very easily into the Triceratops portion here. And then you get all kinds of different horns. You got two horns right here. And you get a bunch of different little pieces here that go in there. So this is really choose your adventure. You want him totally full of everything or you want them just partially, you really just make a, make it how you want it to be. Make your perfect battlefield dinosaur is what you can do from there. But we got horns, we got helmets, we got stuff. We get a big necklace here, nice soft goods necklace. I uh, got the string right there, everything dangling down here, looking mean, looking big. But of course, he wears this right around there. So you put this over his head, and you're off to the old races there. And then we got different things you can clip on, like we talked about. On the side of these, there's a spot here you can clip on these things onto him, almost like an earring type thing, but you can really uh, bedazzle him. You can bedazzle him all you want to right there, so that does look good. And then we get a cape. Like I said, cape's not just for humans anymore. Dinosaurs getting in the cape game. Big old cape, got the kind of shredded dench down here. Big old wiring in this cape. That is very cool. Everybody loves a good wired cape. Nice heavy-duty wire in this one. Uh, you got the rings at the top here, so you just latch it around. Holds around his head very easily. And then you got all the fur on the back here looking really, really nice. So definitely a very, very ornate cape here for this dinosaur. And then we even got a little card here. A little card action. It shows the dinosaurs leading into battle. All that. And I guess this gives you a little guide of how to put this together. Is I didn't see an instruction book saying, okay, this goes here, this goes there. That's something I would definitely love to have for something like this is very complicated with all this stuff and it's not like this is a gi joe character or a marvel character somebody i know okay i know this goes here i know this goes there this is brand new line for everybody out there as far as a brand new world of characters here but definitely like that card there nice heavy duty stock and then on the back very cool idea you guys know i love a blurb a huge blurb right here gives the background of the story and once again that goes back to Marvel Legends, we know Captain America's story. We know G.I. Joe and Flint's story. We love a little uh, War and Peace. We love a little bit of Blur, but we don't necessarily need it because we know the characters. This guy, it's a blank slate for, I'd say, the majority. So this helps you resonate for what this guy's all about by reading his story. And you can pause this video, check the story out if uh, you want to do that. So there you go. 
Now we're going to take a look at this guy and his plain Jane kind of look right here. Big old hunking dinosaur. He is a big, big boy. You guys know me. I love a good big figure. But he is definitely a T-Rex. Definitely looking cool. Definitely looking mean. This is the red version. There's a couple different color versions. So check out the Big Bad Toy Store website. Link in the description below. Check this out because uh, definitely a very, very cool uh, line to get into. And of course, you can army build and build out your whole world if you want to. Like a lot of these other toy lines here. Walking through the articulation really quick, we do get the big old head on this one. So we do get neck articulation uh, right up here at the top. And then we get another articulation here where the head meets. So you get a little articulation that way, articulation that way. Always cool to get a little more articulation there. Mouth opens deep, wide, looking really, really nice. Love the big rows of teeth on this guy. Big open mouth. Big old tongue inside there. Even detailed down to the tongue. Definitely cool there. You got the green kind of reptilian eyes there on the side as well. And a little bit of that horned kind of protection. Not, not necessarily horned, but I don't know what I'm looking for. Reptile-like uh, face on him right there. Definitely sneaks out there looking like a T-Rex. Definitely looking scary, no doubt about it. Then you do get a little uh, butterfly articulation on this guy. Arms do go up. It said heat this up. Boy, these are smooth as butter, these uh, for me. I don't know if it's because they've been sitting in my house for a couple of days. Maybe they got uh, one with the elements down here, but definitely uh, moves like butter for me, at least. Uh, you do get a bicep cut. You do get side to side at the elbow. Single jointed elbows on this guy as well. Love this forearm guard here. It's like uh, real leather. I don't know if it is actually leather, but it feels like real leather. Got the buckles and straps. Very, very high end there and a little protection on there on the forearm. And of course, you can plug some of these things into these forearm guards if you need to. Got the big old hand going on. I really do like this one. It's a bit of a gripping hand, but he's got a point. So he's leading his team. Charge! You know, take on the Triceratops, whatever it may be. He's got that going on. Of course, hand's going to plug and play just like we're used to. Big old nails on the end. I like the looks of those as well. Looking really nice. Got the hula hoop at the top. Then you got your traditional waist as well. So we get that articulation. Big old splits on this guy. We got that going on. I'm here for that. On the back, of course, is where the tail plugs in. And I talked about the forearm feeling leather. Same thing about his belt. You got that leathery feel around the belt. And then apparently he did a stop off in Eternia, of course. And we've got a soft goods loincloth under here. Very soft, very smooth, very nice, very high end. Once again, you got a real belt buckle on the back here. Just very high end throughout. You got real chain in the front. And then you got that skull hanging down here with the big old antlers, teeth, just looking mean, looking very medieval, looking very crazy. Then he has his Terry Steinbach shin guards going on down here. Of course, Terry Steinbach, a guy that transcends things. He's, of course, baseball. Everybody knows Terry Steinbach. But even into the dinosaur world, they're wanting to pretend they're Terry Steinbach. they got the shin guards here and that same kind of gold bronzes patina going on. Once again, the leather here and belt buckles are on the back. Just definitely high end on that end of there. You do get the knee articulation. Once again, smooth as butter, and it is double-jointed. Pinless knees on this guy. Here for that as well. Side to side on the ankles, up and down. Once again, very smooth. And then we do get individual toe articulation. Yes, you heard it right. Individual toe articulation on this one. So not just the whole foot like McFarlane. Each toe has its own articulation. So that is something you don't see every single day. No doubt about it. Now, no hole on the foot. He does not have a, he's not going to fit on a stand for us. However, this is a big, beefy boy. And like a lot of those big, beefy boys, he's going to stand just fine on his own. That's what he does right here. So, man, oh, man. Now, this is base version without all of his gear on him. This looks very, very nice. I can see some people maybe saying, hey, this is good enough for me. I don't need this stuff. But you know me. I can't turn down a cape. I can't turn down horns and weapons. So I'm going to put all that stuff on him, and we're going to do that next. So stay tuned. All right, we're back. We got this battlefield dinosaur ready for battle. Man, he took some time to get dressed up, putting the horns. You got to put the horns on his forearm, his helmet, his side plates, on the forearm guards, uh, the shin guards. There's so many different spots to put some horns into. Uh, hang in some of the jewelry, some of the uh, wares of his fallen enemies. You hang some of that on there. Of course, the cape hangs around there. It takes some time to put this guy together, but oh boy, once you get him together, Together. This is a big ornate chunk of plastic. There is no doubt about it. I forgot to mention there's a little bit of bendy in the tail, so you get a little bit of movement out of that. I did talk about the cape. 
full on movement on this cape. Man, is this guy heavy? Is he big? And is he ornate? Once again, he's got so much detail to him. And I really like the idea that you can mix and match. And if you don't want him to have the cape on, don't put the cape on. You want different weapons, different hands. You don't want this big old helmet going on, this big old fallen triceratops helmet on your T-Rex. You could take that off. So it is truly a choose your own adventure figure. But man, this thing is big. Man, this thing is next level. But it is a price point over $100. So you do get what you pay for. And it's not going to be a $25 Marvel Legend figure. That's just not going to be in the cards right here. This is an extremely deluxe figure for adult collectors, 18 and up, of course, uh, from the AXY Toys. And like I said, Big Bad Toy Store is the place you're going to get this one if you want to get after it. But man, I can't believe how ornate this thing is and how many different things it is. And every time I look at it, I kind of see something different. So quite the piece right here. There's no doubt about it. And once again, you mix it with your Mythic Legions, other things like that. I mean, there's it really is choose your own adventure, how you want this displayed in your collection. And that being said, let's do a little comparisons of some other bigger figures to see kind of where he is in the old scale wise here. And first one here is Crocker. We unboxed Crocker on the channel not too long ago. Uh, a little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle inspiration here. We also got this at Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, link in the description below. But this is a big, tall, heavy figure. Look at that size comparison right here. That is quite the difference between these two here. So Crocker, a big, meaty figure. Uh, not quite as tall as our T-Rex right here. Mythic Legion's got one of those deluxe... Uh, I always call this the Zack Wild figure, uh, but definitely looks really cool. But look at that. Now that's a battle for the ages right there. Uh, just definitely quite the size difference between these. This is one of the deluxe Mythic Legion figures as well. Looking really good. They both have the same fashion sense. They both got the loincloth going on. Oh, everybody loves a loincloth. There you go. Uh, one we unboxed just recently on the channel, DC McFarlane Doomsday. So you can see this big deluxe DC figure. You can see these guys side by side here. I mean, definitely a size difference between these two. No doubt about it there. Very, very striking uh, size difference. We got Doomsday. There it is. And then how about this one? Kragnar, I think was his name. This is a Cosmic Legion figure we unboxed just recently on the channel as well. So you can have him fighting a reptilian in space if you want to. So you can kind of mix and match those guys uh, between the two if you need to. And I do have, how about a wrestling figure? You always got one of those at handy here. How about the Hulkster? Ultimate Edition Mattel Hulk Hogan ready to take on that dinosaur brother. I don't know if he's going to win that battle. There's no way about that one. But man, oh man, you can kind of see with seeing some of these big deluxe figures against this guy, you can really see how deluxe this figure is and the immense size of this T-Rex here. Just very, very cool. And something I know absolutely nothing about. Obviously, you read the story that's included with here. You can kind of be a, a little smarter to the brand, of course. But definitely a cool figure is a cool figure. And I love the idea of being able to mix him with maybe my McFarlane's. Uh, my uh, wrestling figures, if I need to get really crazy. Marvel Legends, Superheroes, Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions. There's a lot of ways this guy can go on your shelf. Heck, you can put him through Ninja Turtles if you wanted to. Just definitely an all-time figure there. And i got to thank AXY Toys sending me this uh, my way. Very appreciative of it. Definitely do like this. Definitely be a part of my collection for years to come. Check out this. Check out the link in the description below in uh, Big Bad Toy Store is where you're going to be able to pre-order this bad boy from. All kinds of different ones, different color patterns, whatever you want. Once again, choose your own adventure really sums up this review at the end of the day. So the Battlefield Warrior, I'm here for a dinosaur. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You're going to pick this one up? You're going to play the long game? You're going to pass? You here for a big, meaty, beefy dinosaur T-Rex? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you also made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the old notification bells. We got videos every single day, including Patreon. Even more stuff for you on Patreon. And Patreon, your best way to support this very YouTube channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the little Battlefield Warrior, XY Toys, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.